Hello and welcome to What Culture Gaming's nostalgic PlayStation 2 quiz. A walk down memory lane of the best of the PS2, the best selling console of all time. How well do you know it and how well do our contestants know it? I'm your host, Cy White, and joining me today is Joe Johnston, Dan Durkin, Scott Telford, and Josh Brown. As usual with these quizzes, it's first to four, first three to four to get to the next round. And our quiz buzzers go like this. Joe goes. Dan goes. Scott goes. And Josh goes. Nice. Good. All right, so this is going to get hard, but let's start out nice and simple with your first question. What year did the PS2 release in Japan? <laughs> 2000. Is correct. Oh, God. If I said Mario, you'd say Luigi. If I said Sonic, you'd say Tails. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. I was, was going to say Shadow. <laughs> if this is right. Famous PlayStation character Shadow. Is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, what is it with you in jumping I've got a the bit gun? Of Alice, it's fine. Good enthusiasm, I think. Yes. If I said Mario, you'd say Luigi. If I said Sonic, you'd say Tails. What if I said Ratchet? <laughs> oh, oh, I think that was Joe. Oh, thank yeah. you. Clank. Is correct. Clark. I was like, should I interrupt and say Daxter? No. <laughs> 2002-bit. Two PlayStation 2 games are tied for the highest Metacritic score on the system with 97. Can you name me oh, one of them? God, the photo of Vice City. Is incorrect. Oh! Dan. I think it was Dan. Highest time. San Andreas. Is incorrect. <laughs> yes, Josh. <laughs> it's going to be wrong, isn't it? Grand Theft Auto 3. It's correct! Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, in that case, can you name me the other game? <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2? It's a great answer. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. It's going to be Metal Gear Solid 3, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we're all out unless we're back in. No, no, you're no, all back in. This is a new question. <laughs> What's the question again? What's the other one? The, the other the PlayStation question? 2 game with a score of 97 on Metacritic. Oh, did this come out on PS2? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3? It's correct! Oh, oh, wow! wow. <laughs> well done! Nice! That's why it's the best one, Scott. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Oh. But what can you do? In the original God of War, which mythological creature is the first boss fight that Kratos faces? <laughs> The Hydra. Is correct. Ooh, oh, I can't get there. I can't get there. Pull. Pull. Have you not been uh, doing rest of the trial? <laughs> That's the wrong That's wrong. Wrong. That's That's wrong. Wrong. Yeah, but it's <laughs> Nice and straightforward one this time. What's the subtitle of Hitman 2? Silent Assassin. Is correct. Oh, thank you. Okay, everybody is on the board. What's the name of the PlayStation 2 camera peripheral that allowed... Stop. The eye toy. Is correct. <laughs> yes. Like, how do your brains work that fast? Like, my brain knows it, but it doesn't go to the. <laughs> no idea. No idea. Receptacles. What game contains the PS2's longest cutscene? <laughs> Was it me? Yeah. Metal Gear Solid Three. Is correct. Oh. oh. And not just sort of fall with the PS3. Oh, he's through. He's oh, through. Record. Congratulations, Dan Durkin. You are moving on to the semi finals. Yes, Metal Gear Solid 3. The ending or debriefing cutscene is 26 minutes long. And Scott, you're right. MGS4's ending is 71 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't want to make movies, he wants to make games. <laughs> <laughs> Which PS2 action game was inspired by Snatch and Get Carter? Oh. Oh. The Getaway. Is correct. Oh. What a gem. Very, very tight in this first round. One point to score for everyone to get through to the semi-final. Hands by size, Joe. Um, <laughs> I've got a very good feeling about who might get this one correctly. Which character who bears a striking resemblance to Wesley Snipes first appeared in Tekken 5? Raven. Is correct. Ah. Welcome to the semi-final, Scott Tailford. Well, well, thank you. Oh, you just well, got something shaking. Hello, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't go out yet. I've got the a t shirt with I, a game on it. If I could draw out, it would be the greatest achievement of my lifetime. <laughs> well, let's see how we get on with this one. In the original Kingdom Hearts, what's the first proper Disney world that players visit? 
You can go to the Colosseum or Athens. That doesn't count. What's the first proper Disney World? <laughs> Hercules. Uh, land. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Colosseum or Athens. Doesn't count. I'm afraid. Joe to steal. The Little Mermaid Land. Is incorrect, unfortunately. The answer is Wonderland from Alice of in um, Alice in oh, never Alice, Alice of, of Wonderland. Wonderland. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> the PS2 was one of the first video game systems to go online. What year was Sony's DNAS servers finally shut down? Oh. 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 This I can only guess. Go on, Joe, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Mm. 2007. It's incorrect. Oh. Um, 2013. Is incorrect. Oh. 2016. Wow! Yeah, a long life. Fair play. This one's quite straightforward. Let's see how well you know Grand Theft Auto Vice City. What colour are the police cars in that game? <laughs> Tan. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. What? Uh, oh, police car is the same. Huh? What colour is that, though? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought they're all black and white, are they? They're not black and white. Oh. They're green and white in Vice City. Oh, they are? Yeah. Jabbing them. Jabbing them. It's embarrassing this, Josh, isn't it? <laughs> What's the name of the new gameplay mode that was included in the PlayStation 2 port of Resident Evil 4 starring Ada Wong? Oh, come on! Separate ways. Is correct. Oh! <laughs> the same in Ada. No, actually. That's in the GameCube version. <laughs> Welcome to the semi-final. Josh Brown, commiserations to Joe Johnston. Well done, Joe. Okay, it is semi-final time. This round is first to four questions. Only two of you can go through to the final. Let's see how you get on with the first question. Which anime series has a trilogy of fighting games on the PlayStation 2 with the subtitle Budokai? Yeah, I'm done. Dragon Ball Z? It's correct. It is Dragon Ball. Who narrates the tutorial in the 2002 movie tie-in Spider... Bruce Campbell? You... Is correct! You son of a... You son of a... This one's nice and simple. What's the best-selling PlayStation 2 game of all time? I'm going to go for a wild card. Uh, is, it, is it the iToy Play? <laughs> is that because of the Kinect thing in the Xbox quiz? Is that, is that why you said <laughs> yeah. that? Got to call it back. I was going to go for something else, but I thought, why not go out in style? Incorrect, I'm afraid. GDA San Andreas? It is San Andreas. Oh, damn. 17 million copies. Damn. Also on the sales side of things, the second and third best-selling games for the system are actually both from the same franchise. What franchise is that? FIFA. Incorrect. Damn it. Call of Duty? Incorrect. Oh. <laughs> a lot right on this. What else is best seller as If it's not FIFA, mm. I think FIFA was a different. I don't know. It was, it was PES was more dominant than that, wasn't it? PS2. Depends who you talk to. I want to guess. No, I can't do right. No, I'm going to go. Uh, Tony Hawks. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. You all missed the obvious PlayStation franchise, Gran Turismo. Oh. Uh, Gran Turismo 3 with 14 million copies and 4 with 11 million copies. Which PS2 RPG allows players to dress their characters as berserkers, samurais, songstresses and gun mages? Oh. 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 Hang on. Jade Empire? Incorrect. Xbox exclusive, that brother. Not that it told me. RPG. Oh my god. Um, Which PS2 RPG allows players to dress their characters as berserkers, samurais, songstresses, and gun mages? The one with the Uzis and the. 
slow motion stuff? Not a game, Scott. <laughs> it's not a game name. That's my pitch. God damn it. Um, I can't think of its I effing nothing. name. I want nothing. I'm gonna have to free us from this hell. <laughs> it's not Valkyrie Profile. It's, it's not, not even close. It's not Valkyrie Profile. Fantasy Star <laughs> Universe? <laughs> hey, it's a good answer. It's not correct. You do know the name of this game, Scott. It's Final Fantasy X-2. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What's the other one that was like with the Uzis and the slow-mo? Max it's the Payne. Max Payne. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to dress Max Payne as a gun mage. <laughs> or a songstress. Or a songstress, yeah. yeah. How many Tony Hawk's games were released for PS2? Eleven. Incorrect. Sure. Oh man, there's one exclusive to three. Uh, I have five. Incorrect. Four? Incorrect, I'm afraid. The correct answer is eight. What? Eight? Tony Hawk's Protator 3 and 4, Thug 1 and 2, American Wasteland, Downhill Jam, which I think was on the Wii first, Project 8, and Proving Ground. And the worst part is I own almost all of them and have played none of them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they completely cut it off with American Wasteland. Uh -huh. I, I did as well. Next American year. Wasteland was good. Crossover again. Which famed filmmaker produced trailers for the launch of the PlayStation 2? Oh, well. <laughs> Michael Bay? Is incorrect. Mm, I wish. <laughs> Spielberg is incorrect. Fincher is incorrect. You're going to kick yourselves. It's David Lynch. Oh, that's why there's that's why there's a melting baby and various other things. I was a David. <laughs> Ebony and Ivory are the trademark oh! weapons. Dan Deer from Devil May Cry. <laughs> It is correct. Welcome to the final, Dan Durkin. I'm not clapping. <laughs> not clapping. Come on, Scott, we'll play it properly now. Okay. <laughs> the showdown now begins for who makes it into the final. Which PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast fighting game holds the esteemed honour? Virtual Fighter. Incorrect. Damn it. Josh, would you like me to finish the question for you? Not anymore. <laughs> no. Which PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast fighting game holds the esteemed honour of being the first game to support online crossplay? This is a hard one. I just wanted to put it in here because I thought it was cool trivia. Yeah. No. Virtual Fighter. Can't be Street Fighter. Can't be Street Fighter. Can't be Combat. No. Tekken. Yeah. Old enough. Um, this is. Soul Calibur? That's a good answer, but it's not right, I'm afraid. The right answer is Capcom versus SNK2. Yeah. First cross-play yeah. game. Uh, cross-play between the PS2 and Dreamcast in Japan, and then I think the first really international cross-play experience was Final Fantasy XI, so there you go. Speaking of Sega, which game marked the playable debut of Sonic the Hedgehog on PlayStation? Oh. Come on, guys, get a point, please. Yes. Come on, please, please, please get a point. There's James Dobbs. Uh, Sonic Heroes. Is correct. Thank you. Heroes. <laughs> the best Sonic game. Uh, that's not just, true just at all. Get, just get the point. It's not. <laughs> How many colossi must the player slay in Shadow of the Colossus? Twelve. Incorrect. <laughs> Thirteen. Incorrect. Oh! <laughs> Is it 11? It's, it's 16. Wow. It is 16. <laughs> Where's that? Who's that? Where's that coming from? <laughs> the ghost on the side. <laughs> the height of the towers that show on the boot up of the PlayStation 2 are determined by what? Uh, save files on the memory card. Mm, I can't give you that. What? It is data in the save files, but it's not the save files themselves. <laughs> I can't get more specific than that. Oh, oh you can. <laughs> you can. <laughs> There's a more specific yeah, answer. <sighs> the amount of games saved on the memory card. <laughs> <laughs> Said with so much confidence. It's <laughs> incorrect, I'm afraid. It's the number of times a game has been booted. Oh. Ooh. oh. Yeah. Which PS2 Capcom game got ported to the Wii specifically due to fan demand? <laughs> uh, 
Um, Resident Evil 4? Is incorrect. Great answer. I mean, From yeah, PS2 to the it. Wii. PS2 to the Wii. Just because it made sense. It made sense. Look at your shirt. Oh, what? <laughs> Come on! That, that's literally the outcome. I can't do that. That's literally just telling me the answer. <laughs> it was a guess. No, it's not. It's the answer. It's, it's because you went wild before. I, I, just, I can't. What am I supposed to do now? Like, just skip the question. Just yeah, the question. I can't do that. I appreciate the thought. Though. He went so like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you done so furious. <laughs> Yes, the correct answer is Akami. I would never have got that, so that's fair. <laughs> she not even after I went, that's his reaction! <laughs> I just know. Uh, that's your reaction to knowing answer. Yeah. I put that in there, I was like, well, at least Joe will know that one. <laughs> you're out. So it was kind of, you know. The PS2's launch lineup, despite the console's eventual success, is often considered pretty unremarkable. And to that end, can you name me a launch title out of the 29? <laughs> Fantavision. Correct. Yes. What the hell is Fantavision? It's a fireworks game. You chain them all together. I actually won a PS2 competition back in the day, and I won four PS2 launch games. Ooh. Fantavision. Wow. <laughs> rule. <laughs> Just take a split. Fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. And X Squad. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Which often forgotten Western adventure game was followed by two Game of the Year contender sequels in 2010? Scott. Red Dead Revolver. Is correct. Ha! Ah. Scott, one point away from the final. Josh, I believe in you. Thank you. Cool, Thank you, Sai. Wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> what planet does the first mission, excluding the prologue, of Star Wars Battlefront 2 take place on? Oil. Uh, Host? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Mm. Uh, come on, there's only like four. Back then, <laughs> a prequel is brought into a prequel game. I'm gonna go, um, Naboo is incorrect. It's Endor. No what PS2 video game reportedly had the highest production budget? <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2 is incorrect. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm doubt myself. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, is it? Which one had the higher budget? Shenmue. Or two? two? Shenmue 2. Shenmue 2. Shenmue 2. Shenmue 2. What I said. Yeah. Shenmue 2. So I don't think either of those games are on the PlayStation mm. 2, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's a really great answer when it comes to video game budgets. It's just not the place they should do, so can't do anything for you. The correct answer is Final Fantasy XII. Yeah. $53 million then, which is about $75 million now. So in this um, PS2 quiz so far, I've named an Xbox <laughs> equipment, a Dreamcast game, and... What's next? A PlayStation yeah, yeah, 4 title? Yeah. What's the name of the Matrix video game, which is set alongside Matrix... <laughs> <laughs> Until the Matrix. It's correct! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Jax's buddy Daxter is a cross between an otter. Oh! I was going to say he was an otzel, but then you said that. So he's between an otzel and a weasel. Is correct! Oh, ah! hey! A cross Thank between otter and a weasel. Welcome to the final, Scott Tailford. <laughs> it's a nice place to be. Commiserations to Josh Brown. <laughs> <laughs> it is final time. How are we feeling, Scott Telford? I'm loving it, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Good. I'm Oxles. glad you're excited. Dan, how are you feeling? Terrified. Good. That's probably the more appropriate emotion. Um, this round is first to five, or whoever has the highest score by the time we reach the end of the questions. Best of luck to the both of you. Your first question. The last game officially released for the PlayStation 2 is an entry in the Pro Evolution Soccer series. What year did it release? 2014? It's incorrect. Oh. 2016. Is incorrect. Damn it! Dan, you were so close. It is PES 2014, which of course launched in 2013. Oh. Exclusively oh. in Europe for the PS2. Which controversial PS2 Rockstar title was originally rejected by the ESRB? <laughs> Manhunt. Is incorrect. Man? Manhunt 2. Is correct. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this one's in here just uh, to maybe to pad it out or just for me I don't know Fiona Belly and her dog Huey are the main characters of which PS2 horror game <laughs> I think Clock Tower great answer it's incorrect I'm afraid no, I hate this Can you repeat <laughs> the question please yes Fiona Belly and her dog Huey are the main characters of which PS2 horror game <laughs> yeah, the, mm, I think I know the game I just can't think of the name of it uh, it's Silent Hill. It's not Silent Hill. It's Haunting Ground. Oh. Dan, I think the reason you're aware of this is because that dog, Huey, is the dog in Resident Evil 4. Huh. So there you go. Trivia. You come here for a quiz, you get knowledge as well. <laughs> How many megabytes of data could the standard PS2 memory card hold? It is correct. Whoa. Dan Durkin off to a flying start Magic in the final. Key. The Buzz Quiz Games began life on the PS2, but what topic was the first Buzz all about? <laughs> what? <laughs> I bought that. Me and a bunch of friends. Shout out to my old friends pitching in to buy all that collectively. Movies? It's incorrect. If it's not movies. Games. It's incorrect. <laughs> it's it's <not> music. <laughs> oh, cool. The other point of the triangle. <laughs> In which PS2 RPG would you find Dawn Redbeer, Borodor Goldhand, and Alicia Faithhammer? <laughs> what a name. Is it Lord of the Rings The Third Age? Great answer. Incorrect. Oh. Incorrect. I love these guesses. Thank you. Morrowind? I'm afraid not. No, PS2. It's Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Oh, oh so of course. Classic. <laughs> Can you give me the first name of the protagonist of the Rockstar game, Bully? Shots. It's Jimmy. It is Jimmy. Jimmy. Or James. What's his surname? Hopkins. I don't know. Hopkins. Yeah, Hopkins. sounds right. Hopkins. Why not? According to Jim Ryan in March 2024, how many million PlayStation 2 units were sold? <laughs> you think we know this? 200 million. It's not 200 million. Oh, uh, I forget what their goal was and then they missed it. 22. It is not 22 million. It is 160 million. Great team. This is definitely, I put this one in here for me. Which PlayStation 2 game soundtrack was ghost written by a music teacher who would eventually become part of a scandal in Japan? <laughs> 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 Make, yeah, make squirm. Go on, this squirm. Is this, is, this is the level we need to have quiz questions. <laughs> a scandal in Japan. What was yep. a scandal? The soundtrack was ghost written by a music teacher. It eventually becomes part of a scandal in Japan. Teacher at all. Um, Just name me the game. I can't think of anything. This. <laughs> Got a composed soundtrack. Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> 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 um... I can't think of any of the scandal in Japan stuff. I'm just going to go Final Fantasy um, 10. It's not Final Fantasy 10. No. It's Onomusha. Oh! Which is why when Onomusha got a remaster or whatever it was uh, in the years following, it had a brand new soundtrack. You'll never hear the original soundtrack again. What was the name of the first Need for Speed game released on the PS2? Hot Pursuit. I can't give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Hot Chase. <laughs> Pursuit? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> it's Hot Pursuit 2. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Say to what's happening to you. Amazing. I'm getting sliced. Which wrestler appears on the front cover of five of the seven PS2? <laughs> Hulk Hogan. It's done. Incorrect. Good. It is not Hulk Hogan. The Rock? It's not The Rock either. John Cena appears on five of seven <laughs> SmackDown vs. Raw Could games on the PS2. Him. Yeah, exactly. That's why you didn't know the answer. <laughs> Which PlayStation 4 game has an Easter egg that allows you to play classic PlayStation 2 first-person shooter? PlayStation 2 was the end of that question, I think. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but what's the answer, Dan? Uh, what's the game? <laughs> it's not finish the question. It's uh -huh. answer the question. <laughs> I can't think of the name of the game. Pass. Oh, can I get the question again, please? Which PlayStation 4 game has an Easter egg that allows you to play classic PS2 FPS Time Splitters 2? 
Home Front the Revolution. Correct. Yay. Very good. Very good pull. Thank you. Thank you. All right, neck and neck. What's the name of Silent Hill 2 protagonist James Sunderland's wife? Mary? Is correct. In the Legend of Spyro trilogy of games on PS2, which Hollywood star provides... I'm going to hope you say Spyro's voice and it's Elijah Wood. It is Elijah Wood, the voice of Spyro in all three games. In Final Fantasy X, Nirvana is the name of which character's ultimate weapon? Oh, God. Never played a Final Fantasy, so I'm going to say... Sekiroff? <laughs> Sekiroff. Sekiroff. Yeah. Sekiroff. It's not Sekiroff, I'm afraid. It's such a stab in the dark. Um, Oren. It's not Oren. Damn it's it. Yuna. Oh. I think Oren's is just Mazamune or something. Yeah, I only got Titus this last time through, and it is Titus, damn it. Tidus can oh. <laughs> Yeah. What's the subtitle attached to the pair of PS2 Resident Evil titles that had online functionality? Region dependent. Outbreak? Is correct. Outbreak and Outbreak File 2. Dan, you are one point away from victory. Traveller's Tales have become known for developing the Lego games in the last two decades, but what PlayStation 2 Lego game... Oh, Lego game. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just thinking, developed by Traveller's Tales, because that was like Crash Band good. Um... Lego Star Wars. It's correct! Oh, <laughs> oh, <he's doing> it. <laughs> right, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> yes, Lego Star Wars was the first Lego video game developed by Traveller's Tales. Congratulations to Dan Durkin. Commiserations to Scott Tailford. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know how you got on down in the comments below and your niche PS2 memories. What's the most underrated title on that beloved system? Why not? Thank you for watching. From everyone here at What Culture, I've been Sai, and have a good week. <laughs>